Hey guys, I have an art supply to share with you. This is a set of 36 Artist Colored Pencils by Derwent. This is a slightly waxy pencil for easy blending that is soft and not crumbly. Okay, let's open these up and swatch some colors. This is a nice metal tin. It has a removable lid. Okay, let's look at one of these pencils. It's a beautiful round barrel. We have a color name and a color number. Now I want to let you guys know really quickly that the Derwent Artist colored pencils and the Derwent Studio colored pencils are the exact same pencil. The only difference is the size of the core. This is a four millimeter core, so it's larger. And the Studio is a 3.4 millimeter core, so you can sharpen them to a finer point, and that's for getting more detail. Okay, so that's the difference. If you guys have been wondering what the difference between the Artist and the Studio, both by Derwent, it's the same pencil. Okay, so let's swatch these colors and see what they look like. Okay, so I'm going to use some 67 pound Bristol vellum to swatch, and we will start with the first color, Lemon Cadmium. Okay, so let's see what this feels like. Okay, so it, it's very firm. It's not, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel um, waxy at all. Hmm. Okay, it's a very, it look, gosh, look at all that color. Okay, so you're, you're it's very highly pigmented. Um, I'm able to lay down a lot of color really quickly, but it's extremely um, firm and does not feel waxy at all. Okay, let's move on to the next color. This is straw yellow. It's a little bit warmer yellow. Wow, okay, so if you're looking for a very firm <laughs> colored pencil, this feels very firm. It does not feel scratchy. I don't feel like um, I'm having a difficult time at all laying down color. It, color goes down very easy, but it is a firm, um, a firm lead, not overly waxy at all. Now they do say that it's a very slightly waxy colored pencil, and I would agree with that. This is not overly waxy, at you know, not at all. Okay, so this color is called Deep Cadmium. Now, you, you might be able to hear that too. Um, you can actually hear me coloring with it because it's not overly creamy. It almost feels, uh, it feels very dry. That is actually a good way to describe this. It feels very dry when I'm coloring with it. Okay, this is orange chrome. Now, if you, if that's what you're looking for, um, you know, that this is, you know, <laughs> what am I trying to say here? If you're looking for something that's not a very waxy pencil that has a lot of, of intense color to it, gosh, you know, this is really a lot of pigmentation and, and it's not overly waxy. It almost, see, no, it's not really crumbling, but I, I did get a little bit right there on that one, but I was using a lot of pressure. Let me uh, move on to the next color. This is Scarlet Lake. Okay, I'm not going to push really hard, and yeah, it's not it's not crumbling at all, guys. That's really well. Of course, Derwent is a really good brand. Um, I really enjoy Derwent products. This is good, even though. Um, it's oddly dry feeling going down, but it performs well. I don't know. <laughs> this is, it feels um, different than all of my other colored pencils because it's hard, but it's not overly hard. Okay, the next color is called Deep Vermilion. This is like, 
this is like I would say this is one of this is like an in between. It's in between hard and waxy, but it does not feel waxy at all. Well, this is why I make these videos. But like I said, you can even hear it. You can even hear the pencil against the tooth of the paper. And it even, it even sounds dry. I don't know if you guys are hearing that. Okay, here is Flesh Pink. This is very light. I don't even know if you guys are going to see this. It says flesh pink, but it's almost um, it's almost an ivory. Okay, the next color is called rose pink. Oh, and by the way, guys, for for all of you who watch my videos regularly, uh, if you recall, I was having a lot of camera issues, and I couldn't figure out what was going on with my camera. Well, I figured it out and I just needed a new SD card. So I got one and it's fixed. So, okay, the next color is called Crimson Lake. Okay, let, let me just point out to you guys, I don't know if this camera's picking this up, but this is a very matte colored pencil. There is no this is this seems more matte than most other colored pencils. I'm gonna even pick this up and see if I can even get a reflection. Oh my gosh, not even at all. Okay, so if you're looking for an extremely matte, co dry <laughs> colored pencil, this might be for you. Okay, next color is magenta. See, look at all that pigment. I'm having mixed feelings right now about how dry this pencil feels. I mean, it performs really well. I'm, I'm getting a lot, of, a lot of color laid down really easily, but um, yeah, it does feel awfully dry. Um, Imperial Purple is our next color. But I feel that if I sharpened this to a really fine point, that it would hold its point because it's it is a firm lead. That's a really beautiful purple right there. It's really pretty. Okay, next color is dark violet, and I'm gonna try to fit one more color right here. That is a dark violet. Now this is light violet. It's a beautiful muted light violet too. Okay, next color is blue violet lake. Then we have ultra ultramarine. So now we're moving into our blues. So that was pretty good for a set of 36. We have four purples. Beautiful ultramarine. And then spectrum blue. Next color. Okay, Prussian blue. I think I'm going to be able to fit all of these colors on one piece of paper. I always try to do that so you guys can see everything close together. This is Kingfisher blue. 
Guys, I got the most fabulous new book the other day. It's an art book and it's all about color and it was first um, published in the 1800s and I am going to be sharing that with you guys very soon. It's so fabulous. Oh, it's so fabulous. Okay, this is Jade Green. Okay, so we just had a couple a couple blues, not many. Let's see, one, two, three, four. We had four blues. And here's our jade green. This looks like a malachite color to me. I don't know, you know that really light color in malachite? Okay, the next color is mineral green. Oh, this is beautiful. It's a beautiful, now I'm getting a little bit of crumbles right now. Yeah, this is a, it's, it's almost odd how, how dry this feels to color with. The next color is emerald green. Now the sound it makes, <laughs> if that bothers you, you know, that might be something to consider before buying this because it, it even sounds really dry, almost like not as severe as nails on a chalkboard, but I'm getting that feeling <laughs> from this. Okay, the next color is grass green. That's a nice vibrant lime green. Now the more I color with this, the more I'm, I'm not wanting to keep, continue to color with this. Okay, the next color is May Green, and I, I don't want to, you know, um, I mean if this is what you like, that's, this is why I'm showing it to you, if this is the kind of thing that you like. Now why did it do that? Okay, it laid down a really dark green and then it went to lighter. I don't know why it did that. Can you guys see that? It must have just been something on, I don't know, the tip. Okay, the next color is cedar green. Oh my gosh, how many greens do we have so far? One, two, three, four, five, and then this is six. Oh, and then we have one more. Okay, so that's a lot of greens. This is a beautiful olive green. They're not calling it olive, they're calling it cedar green, but it's Gorgeous. I love that. And I am getting a little bit of crumble. Oh, here's our olive green. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. Okay, so um, what do I think about the grade of this pencil? I think this is like student grade. Um, it feels student grade to me, guys. The next color is bronze. And this doesn't look like a metallic bronze, it's just a brown color. Okay, next color is Van Dyke Brown, and I am getting crumbles. Okay. And then we have brown ochre. It's a beautiful ochre color though. We have raw sienna. Okay, the next color is golden brown. and Copper Beach. Okay, this doesn't look copper, but they're calling this Copper Beach. It's like a brown color. It's a beautiful brown. Then we have Terracotta. OK. 
Okay. The next color is ivory black. And blue gray. Oh, that's a beautiful blue gray. Gorgeous. Okay, then we have gunmetal. This is a taupey, a taupey gray. And last one is Chinese white. And you guys can't see that. I don't even know why I'm trying. Okay, so what do I think about these colored pencils? Okay, so the color lay down it very easily. You get a lot of pigment super fast. Um, I think the pigmentation is gorgeous. Look at all the pigment in these colors. They're bright and vibrant. I, I love that. That's really good. They're very dry. They call them a slightly waxy pencil. I don't, they're not waxy at all, in my opinion. It's a very firm lead. The only difference, I wanted to say again, just in case for you guys who didn't uh, catch it at the beginning of the video, this uh, pencil is called the Artist Pencil. This is the Artist Colored Pencils by Derwent. They also, Derwent also has uh, a pencil called the Studio. The Artist and the Studio is the exact same pencil. The only difference is the size of the core. The uh, Artist colored pencils have a 4 millimeter core and the Studio has a 3.4 millimeter core. So that one's smaller for getting finer detail, but it's the same pencil. Okay, so I think this is a beautiful color palette. Now this is only the set of 36. They do have more. I think the largest set I, I think is 72 um, for this color pencil set. But just the set of 36, guys, this is a lot of colors. The colors are beautiful. Um, you know, this is the kind of, pen this is a student grade. I would definitely call this a student grade pencil. I don't particularly like how um, hard they are and they feel a little scratchy. They just feel very, very dry is what I'm trying to say. They feel extremely dry going down. Um, you're going to hear that noise if you don't like that scratchy sound when you're coloring. If you like more of a, uh, a, a much more wax in your pencil that's creamier, you might want to go for a pencil that's more waxy. But um, you know, if you're looking for a firm pencil that's dry, that's very matte, you're not going to get that waxy shine. You're not going to get that waxy shine at all, guys. I put a lot of pigment down on this, and there is absolutely no shine coming off this pencil at all. So it's a very matte pencil. Um, yeah, if you guys, if this is the kind of thing that you like, hey, you know, it's affordable. It really wasn't that expensive and I'd say go for it. Derwent is a really good brand, but like I said, it, this is not your professional colored pencil. This is, this is more of your student grade. All right, guys, I hope this has helped you. I hope you've enjoyed this swatch video, and I'll see you later. Bye.